around me is this <laughs> fall weather. I love it when it starts to get nice and cool. Cardigan season happens, sweater weather, whatever you want to call it. This is my time of year, sir. I'm loving every bit of it. Yeah, and I just call it Nick's season. Nick's season. Because you, you love this you weather. Yeah. I know, and I'm looking forward to some of these chilly temperatures this weekend. I'm going to be making some s'mores or something because we will be heading into October. Today, the last day of September, and it's definitely going to feel like we have jumped ahead because these numbers will be a little bit below the average. 48 degrees right now in Indianapolis. Going to start to see the first few sun rays over the horizon here over the next couple of minutes. That sun officially rising in just under an hour. 51 degrees in Muncie, 49 in Shelbyville, 50 degrees in Bloomington, and 52 in Terre Haute. A little bit milder than we were this time yesterday morning, but still chilly enough that you'll want a jacket or a sweater as you're heading out the door. Small breeze, and we are going to keep that breeze fairly light for the morning, only sustaining that wind about 12 miles an hour downtown. Going to get windier, though, as the day goes on. As for the temperatures, should warm up quite nicely this afternoon. Still going Going to stay a couple of degrees below normal, but an improvement from yesterday, upper 60s, and I do think some of us should briefly hit the low 70s. Had to show you the visibility map because we are not dealing with the fog issues that we had yesterday. Nice and clear all across the board there, so no real issues for the morning rush hour here weather-wise. Live Guardian radar is quiet, dry, and going to stay that way for most of the day. All of the active weather still well off to our northwest, but we will bring in just a small chance for a stray shower. Here's the timeline on that. Future view going to keep us sunny to start, but then clouds build in around lunchtime and into the afternoon sometime around 2-3 o'clock. We will bring in that isolated stray shower chance in our northern counties. Southern counties, though, toward Columbus and Shelbyville, you should hold on to the sunshine a little bit longer. Any of the rain chances that we get today and tomorrow will be very small. Any of those showers will not be long-lived or substantial. Into tonight, we are going to dry back up, quiet down, mostly clear out, so that allows us to cool again. Chilly start and quiet tomorrow morning, and then we'll do a similar thing into the afternoon. Small rain chances there, just about a 20% chance, but tomorrow it'll be for our southern counties. It's not going to put a dent even in our rainfall deficit. Of course, today being the last day of the month and we are close to three inches behind on normal rainfall. But between today and tomorrow's rain chances, we're still looking at under a tenth of an inch for most areas. For today's high, we should briefly hit 70 degrees, which will feel fantastic when we do have the sunshine. But we're also going to get quite windy. Some gusts up to about 30 miles an hour this afternoon. It's not going to do any damage, but certainly going to make things feel a little bit cooler as we head back into the evening. Tonight, mostly clear, so that'll allow us to drop back into the mid 40s, so a little bit below average there again. Really, this time of the year, we should just be dropping to a low around 50. Tomorrow, we'll feel a bit of a difference because we will be 10 degrees below average. 62, the high temperature tomorrow, plus it's still going to be breezy with an isolated rain shower chance. Friday morning will be the coldest morning we have had since the beginning of May. So get ready. You're going to be turning on your car heater then if you don't today. And that afternoon high is only 59 degrees. Now we will start off dry and very pleasant for Saturday, but then Sunday we are going to get some much needed rain. Unfortunately, though, highs will only be in the 50s, so it'll be a cold rain. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. You know what I will say? So I used to just not look forward to any kind of rain in the forecast <laughs> at all, but this is how you know that stars infiltrated my life, is that every time I have to go water my mums that have not died yet, I That's hear a amazing. voice that says, you have to water your mums by hand this weekend. <laughs> I like to remind you, we've got to keep all of those fall gardens alive. Yeah, but now you're just right here. All the, I just hear the voice of Star, and then she's like, good for you. Weird, because I hear the voice of Rachel in my head all the time as well, so why don't you tell us about that traffic, Rach? First of all, sorry about that. <laughs> all right, now, when it comes to traffic, we're not really...